Hi, in this video I want to talk about how to make the most of these learning materials, especially if you're just beginning to learn about Python and language technology. I want to start by talking about the way YouTube videos are incorporated into these Jupyter notebooks. So if you take a look at this cell right here, we use a component of the Jupyter notebook to load a video from YouTube and place it into this notebook. So if I run this cell, it will load the video from YouTube. The picture in picture mode detaches the video from the notebook. By using the picture in picture mode, you can watch the video while also navigating the Jupyter notebook. This means that you can scroll wherever you want in the notebook while the video plays in the pop-up window. Next, I want to talk about some ways of using the Jupyter notebooks. When you're writing and debugging code, you quite often end up in a situation where you want to reset the outputs for all cells in the notebook. The best way to do this, if you already have made quite a lot of progress in the notebook, is to choose the kernel menu and the option Restart and run up to the selected cell. This will restart the notebook and run all the cells above the current cell. In this way you don't have to manually run all the preceding cells, but you can simply continue where you left off. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions or additional tips or tricks for working with these materials or with Jupyter notebooks, just leave a comment below. Thanks.